Did you know? Donkey Kong was born from the failure of another Nintendo game called Radar Scope. Radar Scope was a success in Japan, but the sales of Radar Scope arcade machines fell short of expectations in North America. Nintendo had the idea of making a new game that would run on the same hardware as the Radar Scope arcade machines. This would mean that they could reuse the unsold Radar Scope machines and recuperate any financial loss. The new game was Donkey Kong, but not as we know it today. At the time, Nintendo were trying to acquire a license to make a game based on Popeye. The game would have functioned the same, but with Popeye, Olive Oil, and Bluto instead of Jumpman, Pauline, and Donkey Kong. Although, the Popeye deal fell through, and the game became what we know it as today. The president of Nintendo at the time, Hiroshi Yamauchi, thought the game should have an English title to better target the North American market. It then was decided to name the game after the game's ape. With this in mind, the game's director, Shigeru Miyamoto, tried to give the ape a name that an American audience would understand. Miyamoto chose the name Donkey Kong, thinking it would translate as something similar to Big Stupid Ape. Everyone at Nintendo laughed when he suggested the name, but it ultimately stuck. Pauline was originally called Lady. It's thought that her name comes from Polly James, wife of Nintendo's Redmond Washington warehouse manager, Don James. And Jumpman was later renamed Mario after Nintendo's warehouse landlord, Mario Sagale. The Donkey Kong name later caused trouble for Nintendo. The success of the game actually caught the attention of movie production company Universal. Universal believed they owned the rights to the name King Kong and that Donkey Kong was infringing on their copyright. Universal sued Nintendo on June 29th, 1982 but the lawsuit took an unexpected turn. Nintendo's attorney, John Kirby, managed to prove King Kong's scenario and characters were public domain. As Universal had stated, they were public domain in a previous case. Nintendo won, and Universal had to pay for all damages and fees. Nintendo actually thanked John Kirby by giving him a $30,000 sailboat named Donkey Kong, and the exclusive rights to use of the name Donkey Kong as a name for sailboats. John Kirby's name also influenced the naming of one of Nintendo's other popular characters. The one and only, Kirby. Donkey Kong was ported to dozens of different consoles. One of the consoles was the 8-bit Atari 400. This version of Donkey Kong had a fairly interesting secret. Programmer Landon Dyer added an Easter egg, where his initials would appear if the player managed to get a new high score starting with either 37,000, 73,000, or 77,000, then lost all the remaining lives with the last life being lost by falling. Then, if the player set the game difficulty to 4 and waited for the game to cycle through the demo screen, the title would appear with the initials LMD at the bottom. It's an almost pointless easter egg, but what's interesting is that it took 26 years to be discovered by fans. Nintendo released more Donkey Kong games following the original game's success, but after the release of Donkey Kong 3, Nintendo left the franchise behind to work on other games. Nintendo later turned to British developers Rareware to continue the Donkey Kong franchise. Rare had previously impressed Nintendo with a simple boxing game that used pre-rendered graphics, which led to Nintendo buying 49% of the company. The art for this new Donkey Kong game was made using the very same technology that impressed Nintendo prior, where a 3D model is saved as a 2D color-reduced image. This led to a realistic look that no other game had been able to achieve on the Super Nintendo. Since the game had a realistic look, Rare thought the game should have realistic animations as well. The team went to their local zoo to see how gorillas move naturally, but were then bitterly disappointed when they realized the gorillas' movements would not work in a fast-paced game. Rare decided that a second playable character should be added to the game as a more visually impressive way to give the player a life bar. Rare originally wanted to include Donkey Kong Jr. as the second character, and changed his design to something that would complement the new Donkey Kong universe. Nintendo felt the redesign was too different, and wanted either Junior to appear as he did in previous games, or for Rare to make a new character altogether. Rare decided to keep the new design, and came up with a series of names like Diet DK, DK Light, and Titchy Kong. They settled on Dinky Kong, but changed the name to Diddy Kong after hearing some legal advice. The game's Kremlings had origins outside of Donkey Kong Country as well. They were originally created for a different game being made at the same time, but Rare Rare repurposed them for Donkey Kong Country, as they seemed to fit perfectly. Rare's new direction with Donkey Kong Country had mixed reactions from Nintendo. Game Boy inventor and Donkey Kong supervisor Gunpei Yokoi thought the game looked too 3D, but other developers like Shigeru Miyamoto understood the effort that went into making the new game and gave rare encouragement. He even suggested a move for the game where DK would slap the ground. Even though Miyamoto was a fan of the game, a rumor still emerged that he disliked Donkey Kong Country, and that he allegedly said, Donkey Kong Country proves that players will put up with mediocre gameplay as long as the art is good. Later in an interview with IGN, 
Miyamoto clarified that he did in fact like Donkey Kong Country and that he worked very closely with Rare on the game. Some people believe the rumor came about after Miyamoto protested Nintendo's internal evaluation committee during the development of Yoshi's Island. The committee wanted the game to feature pre-rendered visuals, like Donkey Kong Country. Miyamoto disagreed though and reworked the game's art to look like it had been drawn with simple crayons. Some also believe the opening scene in Yoshi's Island is a relic of this Donkey Kong Country art style proposal, as the art style resembles Donkey Kong Country's pre-rendered graphics. That's all for today, but don't you forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out DidYouKnowGaming.com, where we post gaming trivia every single day. If you like this video, check out our other videos. And you can also click that to see some of my videos. I'm JonTron. This message was approved by the British Mafia. Freedom come to motherland, I'm not here, you take my hand. That's the British anthem.